Welcome to GTC. This is one of the biggest ones ever. As NVIDIA's GTC 2020 comes to a close, we look back at five days of technology advancements, collaboration, and groundbreaking announcements. The GPU Technology Conference is a global digital event for developers, researchers, engineers, and innovators. And this year, the event was delivered globally online, giving access to over a thousand live and on-demand events, including Q&A sessions, DLI workshops, guided demos, and of course, the keynote speech from NVIDIA founder and CEO, Jensen Huang, who once again took center stage of his kitchen island to bring us some groundbreaking announcements and collaboration news. This is an amazing time for the computer industry in the world. As mobile cloud matures, the age of AI is beginning. AI requires a whole reinvention of computing, full stack rethinking, from chips to systems, algorithms, tools, the ecosystem. NVIDIA is dedicated to advancing accelerated computing. Enabling developer success on our platform is core to everything we do. GTC is all about developers. This GTC, we're releasing 80 new and updated SDKs. There are now a total of 110 SDKs. Developers need an architecturally compatible and significant installed base. NVIDIA has shipped over 1 billion CUDA compatible GPUs. CUDA SDK has been downloaded 20 million times. There are over 2 million NVIDIA developers now. 600,000 joined this last year. To all, a big welcome. After welcoming a staggering 600,000 new developers to NVIDIA, he jumped straight into graphics. And whilst the Ampere 30 series GPUs are still in high demand and short supply, Jensen assures us that they are on the way and they're worth the wait. NVIDIA GPU processing has increased a stunning 100,000 fold. We recently launched Ampere. It is the greatest generational leap ever. We expected and prepared for huge demand and the response was still staggering. I know many of you are anxiously waiting for your new Ampere GPU. It's totally understandable, and I assure you that it's worth the wait. Ampere is the fastest ramp in our history. Everything we ship is instantly sold out. We're working around the clock. Your new GPU is coming. You're gonna love the new Ampere GPU. He went on to announce that NVIDIA's platform for simulation and collaboration, Omniverse, is now in open beta. Part three of the keynote looks at AI for drug discovery with the announcements of NVIDIA Clara Discovery, plus Cambridge One, which is destined to be the UK's fastest supercomputer, and the availability of NVIDIA DGX Superpod, a ready-made AI supercomputer. The UK is an epicenter of healthcare research. In fact, Cambridge is the home where Francis Crick and James Watson discovered DNA. But scientists in the UK need a state-of-the-art computing infrastructure. So we're gonna build one. It's called Cambridge One. 400 petaflops of AI performance. It will be the fastest in the UK and top 30 in the world. Cambridge One will host our UK AI and healthcare research collaborations with academia, industry, and startups. The DGX SuperPod is available now, scalable from 20 to 140 DGX systems. A 140 DGX configuration is a top 20 supercomputer in the world. We've also published a SuperPod blueprint for our large network of partners to replicate using NVIDIA technologies. Enterprises can go from zero to their valuable AI researchers being productive in just a few weeks, not many months. The savings and productivity alone will pay for the system. You've heard me say it, the more you buy, the more you save. If you'd like more information on the DGX A100, then contact the SCAN business team and find out more about our full guided proof of concept. The progress of AI is incredible and like magic. The magic of AI also comes with its incredible computing challenges, enormous models and training data sets that push the limits of every aspect of the computer, compute, storage, networking. 
Accelerated AI inference played a big part this year with the release of Tensor RT 7.2 and NVIDIA NGC catalog coming to Azure, AWS and GCP marketplaces. Plus, NVIDIA AI will be powering smart experiences in Microsoft Office. The world's most popular productivity application, used by hundreds of millions, will now be AI-assisted. The first features will include smart grammar correction, Q&A, text prediction. NVIDIA AI inference applications are coming from every industry. Natural language understanding, Microsoft Office, instantaneous fraud detection, conversational AI, AI video calls, robotics. NVIDIA AI inference is in every cloud, growing at 10 times every couple of years, and have even eclipsed the total inference compute of CPUs in the cloud. We've reached a tipping point of accelerated AI inference. Every AI service and application can now be GPU accelerated. In part five, Jensen goes deeper into data center infrastructure, announcing the Bluefield 2 data processing unit, stating it's a seven billion transistor marvel, a programmable data center on a chip. He also talks about an exciting new partnership with VMware. VMware runs the world's enterprise. They're the OS platform in 70% of the world's companies. VMware pioneered the virtualized enterprise and now driving the software-defined data center revolution. Together, we're porting VMware onto Bluefield. Bluefield is a data center infrastructure processor and VMware is the data center infrastructure OS. Our partnership will redefine the data center. We will offload virtualization, networking, storage, and security onto the Bluefield and enable distributed zero trust security. Our work will give 30 to 40 million enterprise servers around the world a big boost in performance and security. Let me show you the benefits of offloading, accelerating, and isolating with Bluefield. This demo is Volvo's actual design environment. A lot of technologies involved here. This is a direct visualization from Volvo's PLM actual car CAD data. IP protection and security is paramount. The amount of data being retrieved, streamed, and loaded to render is incredible. Remember, this is the entire car. This is the original CAD data of the car. Security, storage, and networking is done on Bluefield. Omniverse on RTX GPU is doing the photorealistic path tracing. VMware is doing the virtualization, software-defined data center stacks, and virtual workstation. The left is Bluefield, and the right is a server running the entire stack on CPU. With VMware on Bluefield, the networking, storage, and security processing is offloaded, accelerated, and isolated. Both systems are experiencing DDoS attack. The designer on Bluefield 2 server carry on while those on CPU servers are throttled as the CPU fights hard to block the intruder. We now have the pieces together for a programmable data center infrastructure platform. Today, we're also announcing the Bluefield 2X. Adding an Ampere GPU to Bluefield 2 to do the in-network computing with CUDA and NVIDIA AI. Our DPU roadmap is in full throttle. Bluefield 2 is sampling, Bluefield 3 is finishing, and Bluefield 4 is in high gear. He then moves on to other AI services, and we see some great user cases for NVIDIA Merlin, the first end-to-end -end accelerated recommender system, as well as further announcements on the VMware partnership. We are gonna do some serious computer science to create a data center platform that can support GPU acceleration for all three major domains of computing today. Virtualized, distributed scale out, and composable microservices, all NVIDIA accelerated. Enterprises running VMware will be able to enjoy NVIDIA GPU and AI computing in any computing mode. This is a massively exciting project and every bit as exciting as when VMware first virtualized the data center. VMware and NVIDIA are going to bring AI to the world's enterprises. NVIDIA EGX is designed to make it easy for the world's enterprises to quickly stand up a state-of-the-art edge AI server. NVIDIA EGX can control factories of robots, perform automatic checkout at retail, orchestrate a fleet of inventory movers, or help nurses monitor patients. What procedure am I having today? You are having a bronchoscopy. 
In part seven, NVIDIA EGX Edge AI platform is announced, a full stack platform, state-of-the-art AI computing designed for remote fleet operations and a broad ecosystem of partners to help enterprises around the world create AI services. This is the NVIDIA EGX Edge AI platform. And with our network of partners, EGX can reach companies all over the world in manufacturing, healthcare, retail, logistics to transportation. NVIDIA EGX will make it easy to create, deploy, and operate industrial AI services. This is the iPhone moment for the world's industries. Today, we're announcing that the Jetson Nano 2 Gigabyte will be $59. Part eight of the keynote looks at breakthroughs in autonomous machine development, showing a simulation from NVIDIA's work with BMW to create a platform to design, simulate, and operate a factory of the future. And we always look forward to the latest updates and advances of the NVIDIA Drive autonomous vehicle system. Hey Mercedes, please take me for a ride. Okay, let's start autopilot. Hey Mercedes, please park the car. Okay, I will go ahead and park the car. This is work that we're doing for our Mercedes partnership. Starting with 2024, the entire fleet will be powered by NVIDIA Drive AV. Drive AV is running the actual self-driving car stack, all of it. And in theory has no clue it is in a virtual world. Someday, neither the AI or us will be able to tell whether we're in the virtual or physical world. Drive Sim is an open platform with plugins for excellent third-party engines. So there you have it, computing for the age of AI. If you want to know more about NVIDIA's GPU computing for AI, contact our SCAN AI team. And as an NVIDIA Elite Solution Provider, we can advise and guide you on the next steps of your AI journey.